Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you have a nice weekend. Now I was playing around with the Cycles render engine. Very basic studio setup to be honest. I just wanted this really nice clean render. Now I posted these on Twitter and a user asked any chance you could share the lighting setup. But it, honestly, it's that easy I thought I'll make a quick video tutorial and I'll show you how to implement it. Now I'll give you the files as well, I'll put these on Gumroad, you're more than welcome to download them. But seriously, you can do this in 5 minutes or less. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the plane as a kind of background. So I'll tap into edit mode, I'll press 2 to select edges, I'll select the back edge and what I'll do here is I'll just do an extrusion at the back. I'll do another extrusion like this and then let's do one here and I'll just pull this out to the left a little bit. So we end up with something like this, a kind of overhanging background. Now what I can do here is I can hold down shift and I can select these three edges. And I can quickly bevel these edges. So I'll do a quick bevel, something like that. And I'll put the bevel segments up to maybe 20, that should be perfectly fine. And that's the background pretty much set up. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to press A to select all of the mesh. I'm going to come to the scale and I'm going to scale this on the Y axis. Just gives us a little bit more room to play with when we're putting the camera in. And that's the background pretty much set up. Now I can assign a new material here and I'll just make this pretty much white. So I'll just go to the base colour and I'll just push this right up to white. Now I can play around with the specular and the roughness but for the moment it's perfectly fine. Now this is where pretty much most of the work actually gets done. So I'm going to jump into the shading tab and I'm going to change this to the world. Now you can see here I have a background image and I'm going to add in an environment texture so I'll press shift and A, S to search and I'll search for environment. And I'll drop down an environment texture. Now I'm actually using the HDRIs that come free with Blender so they're already there in your folders. So you can check here it actually goes into the data file studio lights world and you can see here there's a studio.exr. So I'll just quickly load up the studio.exr and I'll plug this into the colour. Now because I'm going to use an emission light, I'm going to drop the HDRI down just a little bit, so I'll make this something like 0.4, we'll start off from there. I'll quickly jump back into layout, I'll press shift and A and I'm going to add in a plane, and this will act as our emission light. So we'll quickly put this to the right hand side, we'll rotate it 90 degrees, and that should do for a quick starting point. Now really what you should do here is you should probably go into 1 to go into front orthographic, we can scale this light down a little bit, let's put wireframe on and we can position it to where we like. So we essentially have something like this, we have the light coming from the right hand side, we have a nice background, and I might add a light here just to add as a kind of kick light. Now what we need to do here is assign a material to the plane, and we're going to use an emission node, so we can change this to emission, and I'll probably put the strength around 6, 7, maybe even 8, I'll make it 7, we'll just meet in the middle, we'll leave the colour pretty much white, and that's us pretty much set up. Now one thing I can do here is I'll change to the Cycles render engine, I'm going to leave the device on CPU just to save any kind of recording issue, and we could probably put the render samples up so we could maybe do something like times 2 Now there's a few things we can do here, if we actually go into the layer properties, we could probably enable denoising. Now this changes in 2.9 so just be aware of that, you have different methods in terms of denoising, so that should be us pretty much set up. So obviously we need something to render, I'm just going to throw in Suzanne. I'm going to zoom in to where I would like the camera position, I'll press Control Alt and 0, that should set the camera, and I could play around with some of the camera settings, so if I select the camera, come to the camera options, I could probably push the focal length down, so maybe something like 30, that should be pretty fine. Now this could be considered as an additional step, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the plane on the right hand side, or our light, and I'm going to move this all the way to the left, I'm going to come to the materials, I'm going to delete this material, I'm going to assign a new material, and what I can do here is I can go to an emission channel and I'm going to put the strength down and this means it just kind of balances out the light from the right hand side, it kind of counters it to be honest and that should be really it, you should be able to hit F12 and hopefully you would get a clean nice render. Play around with some of the settings, mess around with the strength of the emission, try and balance the light out as much as possible. I've uploaded the file to Gumroad, you're more than welcome to download it, do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me in Gumroad, you know what to do. Take care.